All right, so I kind of want to show another thing too. I like showing this stuff, man, um, and trying to help other people learn this stuff. Um, so I made a video before about editing in Blender, and they just recently updated it. And there's another a smaller trick I had learned as well. So the channels are divided, and you can lock them and unlock them now. But um. The thing is, is that when you're when you render out these the audio, you can s set it in split channels, so you can actually it export them all separately, and then you can choose the format. And of course, since I'm using Unreal, I'm importing these sounds into Unreal. I'm use the WAV the WAV format. So anyway, I'm gonna finish editing up these, and maybe you y'all can find this interesting. So I have a. Uh, um, that's my voice recorded on, over this Iron Man filter on my phone and I exported it to Gmail then downloaded it from Gmail to the computer and I'm uh, cutting it accordingly so every time you start the level um, you're gonna hear this voiceover. Stage three. Stage four. Stage four. And it's important when you're recording on your phone, or I'm just from my phone. I, I can't speak for every other recording studio, but. There's a time from when you're going to start it. So, you know, if you have different clips, don't just say everything bit by bit by bit, but then say whatever you're going to say, wait, say whatever, say whatever you're going to say, and then wait, because that gives you time to come into another program and cut it. That's another little thing I learned. Stage four. Stage four. All right. Stage four. One time there. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect on the start of the timing, but the, the more important thing is, is to, uh, give it time to come in and out. Stage four. Stage four. So like that right there is fine. Stage five. Stage five. And you also want to look at the times above to see about when you want to start it. Right there, so that's that. Stage five. Cut that right there. And I'm pressing K to cut this. Final. Final. Yeah. So yeah, and um, just hear all the voice clips. Stage one, stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, stage four, stage five, final, final, yeah. So yeah. So for the gym, I'm just gonna do just six levels to make it quick. But uh, I might come back to it, especially if I'm gonna put it on Steam. Come back to it and add more to it. But, uh, yeah, man, this is cool. I learned a lot doing this. Um, learned a lot doing it. <laughs> That's the cool thing about doing game jams is that you, you know, you never know, even though you pretty much already know how you want to go about it. The two jams that I've done, I've learned so much and got more efficient at doing everything each time. So... If you ever do do a game jam, you're definitely going to learn a lot. And let me test that one theory because I sent it out in split channels, and I'm curious to see, make sure if 
what it says is what it what it done, I'm, which I'm pretty sure, but I just want to double check. I think it did it. No, it didn't do what I thought it was going to do. So what does that mean? This on one, two, three, four. Huh. So it didn't split the channels like I thought I was going to do, so I was I'm incorrect on that part. Uh, I got to find out what this each channel will be rendered into a mono file. So anyway, that's that. Well, let me uh, just render out one of these. Um, let me see here. Well, maybe if I do it that way, let me try that. Put that in bigger letters. Still no, it's just one file. Well, it's okay. So what I'm going to do is keep this open. And uh, just do it piece by piece. But I want to show putting that putting that sound in here. Stage one. Stage one. Stage okay. one. So that's that. Let me render that out. Uh, stage one call. I'm gonna call it stage one call. Well, rather stage one. Stage one call. Mix that down. Yeah, uh, thing set. Set dot there. Okay, so that's that, and I'm going to come over here, um, and uh, let me get my head out the way right quick. Open that up. One sound, put that in right there. Okay, we're on stage one. Okay, come over to the sound, which is now imported uh, in Unreal into Unreal. Want to make a sound cue? Open that sound, you should hear it. All right, now obviously it's too low, so I'm gonna boost it up to about three. I think put that one to 3.5. Stage one. Stage one. So that's the sound. And so we have the cue there. Come up to the level blueprint. And so on the event begin play, two seconds into the level, you're going to hear that. So the game is going to start. Let me put it at four seconds. Four seconds into it starting, you're going to hear that. So here we go. Stage one. Stage one. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, man. <laughs> Pretty cool process. Just something small, but uh, I hope y'all can learn something. So what I say, I said I was gonna make three videos today. It's actually gonna be four. Got one more to make. But anyway, let me get back to work. I just, I'm really enjoying this game jam.